Welcome back to the channel guys, Crypto Lightsaber back again with another video and today I want to talk to you a little bit about 1 inch and the airdrop that they are giving out and show you exactly how you can get that. Also we're going to have a quick look at reef.finance which a lot of people are talking about right now and I'll tell you exactly why I bought some reef.finance uh, and how I got it. So basically going into 1 inch, 1 inch is obviously an exchange uh, for those of you that don't know a market cap of around 520 million currently and a maximum supply of 1.5 billion tokens the main thing we want to talk about with one inch at the moment is the airdrop okay now uh, if we look at the price just quickly uh, i did notice that this has been going up okay it's been going crazy and uh, right about now looks like it's consolidating uh, sideways okay and may be ready for another move up so yeah one inch uh, might be a good one for you to look into currently sitting at five dollars and forty cents but they are doing an airdrop okay so if you remember the airdrop with the uniswap token everyone i believe got about 400 tokens and you know some people i know had more than one wallet okay so they got 400 tokens in each wallet now i actually did get the airdrop for one inch and I'll show you how you can get that in a second. Okay, but fortunately for me, I had two wallets that I got in, that I, that I actually got the airdrop in. Um, I got the, I, I had a third wallet, which I didn't qualify for. Okay, so I'm going to show you, uh, I'll tell you exactly how you can qualify for the airdrop. But me, fortunately, I actually got uh, 249 tokens in one wallet, which worked out at the time about $1,317. I also got another 383 tokens in another wallet which is approximately another $2,000. So approximately three and a half thousand dollars that I got for absolutely nothing. So in order to get the airdrop, you need to basically not have used one inch exchange or Muniswap before. Also, uh, you have to have traded uh, on Uniswap uh, using you know your designated wallet. For me, it's MetaMask. Uh, and it had to have been, you have to have at least made trades 20 days apart you also have to have done at least three trades during 2021. And that's how you will qualify for the airdrop. And the system will pick that up automatically when you actually go on one inch exchange. So I'll, if I was you, I would just go to CoinGecko, find one inch, okay? And then you will click on the website, which will take you there. The reason I say to go to CoinGecko is because you can actually get the contract address, which you can then uh, copy into your, your wallet uh, so that you can actually see your tokens when they come in okay so you would click on the one inch exchange website that will take you straight there uh, bearing in mind i have actually already done this okay so my wallets are already connected but when you get to the exchange it's going to give you the option or a button where you can connect your wallet okay and then once you connect your wallet it will show up with either a zero if you don't qualify in this area right over here now this is actually my wallet that didn't qualify so it's good that i can show you that okay but um just the same as it is on uniswap more or less okay you can click on that uh, you can check to see whether you qualify for the tokens or not okay this wallet clearly doesn't okay but if you do qualify for the tokens they're just they, that instead of that being a zero it's just going to show up with how many tokens that you qualify for. So I had 249 in one wallet, like I said, and another 383 tokens in another wallet, like I said. I went on here and I could literally press claim. As you can see, the tokens are $5.47 each. There's a claim button, you click claim. It did cost me about $40 gas for each transaction. And um, straight after that, within a few seconds, I have my tokens in my wallet. So happy days. Okay, so what did I do with my tokens? I would like to say to you that I held them and that I believe that one inch is going to the moon, which there is the potential for that. However, at the time, I was just actually looking at allocating some capital to reef.finance. So fortunately, because I got that money for free, I literally just sent it over to Binance because one inch is available on Binance. I sold those tokens into USD Tether. Um, after they had a little bit of a move upwards okay and then i just bought approximately three and a half thousand dollars worth of reef dot finance okay so moving on to refinance refinance for me uh, looks like a great project obviously built on the polka dot network and a lot of people are talking about this if you type in reef at the moment you'll find a lot of videos even in the past 24 hours alone on reef.finance by various 
YouTubers. So the main reason I'm buying into this token is because the trend is your friend until the end. We've heard that saying in crypto. Okay, so I've not done extensive research. However, I have done enough to decide and make an informed decision as to whether I wanted to allocate some capital into it. But like I said, another factor of that is the fact that it is trending at the moment. Okay, now obviously it has moved up and it's done uh, a couple of X's already. If we go from just from the previous bottom, okay, and we go to the previous top, you see around 717% already. Of course, that is quite high. But you know, for me, there's not really much risk involved for the simple fact that I just got the tokens, uh, the one inch tokens for free. So all the money that I have allocated into this currently is free money. There's no way I can lose uh, buying into refinance. Okay. Now, one thing I am considering is allocating a larger investment into Reef.Finance, Finance. You know, but at this point. Um, I'm not really worried about it too much, okay? I'm gonna wait and see how things play out. Give myself some time, maybe sleep on it, and then decide whether I allocate some more capital into this. But it's definitely looking good at the moment, and it's definitely trending. Um, by first glance, I would kind of say that we are in price discovery over here, because obviously this is when it was listed on Binance, and it had a massive pump all the way up, if I remember correctly. In fact, let's just not guess, let's just, uh, 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 have a look all the way up to around 29 just under 30 cents but that was obviously you know FOMO right um, you know it's quite volatile coins can be quite volatile as soon as they list but that has come down and you, we see that it's settled around this area around one cent and it's now made its way up to just under five cents at the time of recording this video um, a lot of people are uh, do have some high expectations for this some people are saying 100x so like i said uh, you can go and have a look on uh, if you just type in reef.finance on youtube there's going to be quite a few videos on this all right and obviously um um what you will find is that you find it is, is something to do with bridging assets and um cross chain type of stuff uh, but built on the polka dot network all right so for me Kind of bullish and um, we see the increase in volume all right guys we could well see a pullback back down to this level at around three cents but like i said i'm not really worried about about that i won't lose any sleep uh over it and uh, no matter what happens okay and unless this goes to absolutely zero um i will always make a profit on this because the money that i got to put into it at the moment is free okay so if it pulls back, I'll probably be more inclined to put a bigger investment in. If it does continue up, I may or may not. Okay, that will be something to think about. But um, I will do more research on this token, so we may cover it again on the channel. And um, let's let's just hope that we can see this going up for all those that are invested. Oh, well, I know there there has been some people that put some pretty large investments in on it. Now, one of my one of my actual friends. Uh, called me and spoke to me about this token which is what put it on my radar in the first place and I've done some research on it and um, looked at a few videos and so on but to be honest uh, I did see this token a little while back before and people have kind of pointed it out to me before never not really looked into it too much and um, my focus was elsewhere but now it is on my radar so let's see where this can go all right just quickly before we end the video just want to have a quick look at anchor okay a n k r talked about this over the past couple of days and found myself in a profit on this getting in but um it's, it's still in price discovery and now the weekend is about to come to an end hopefully we can get some more movement to the upside but this is one that i'm super bullish on uh, for the long term as well uh, i believe that this has some massive potential and we see that increase in volume and you know for bull season right now it's all about identifying the coins that are good to hold put some money into it and just leave it all right i've got quite a large investment in this as you can see i have approximately 0.62 uh, uh btc in here uh if that's correct let's just see i've got about 1.2 1.3 million tokens 1.26 sorry one point yeah 1.266791 so 1.2 million tokens just under 1.3 million tokens that's quite a large investment you can do the math on that the token price is currently uh just under two and a half cents all right guys so 
that's how confident I am in this project um, in terms of seeing some upside on this. Um, I'm hoping that we can get you know some massive gains. Some people are saying like a dollar on this token. I don't know, you know, but um, yeah, I think it's a good one to be in uh, for the bull run. Okay, so guys, remember, I need your help with triggering that algorithm considering I was, re I was recently banned from YouTube and uh, only just got on after a week of making no videos. I need help with triggering that algorithm. One way you can do that is just by clicking the like button, guys. It costs you nothing, it's absolutely free. Another way you can support the channel is not by sending me a donation or anything like that. Literally, just pressing the subscribe button, okay? That actually helps. Oh, and by the way, I wanna thank everyone who has subscribed. I am now way past 5,000 subscribers, but let's get to 10,000, guys. That would really help the channel. And uh, I really do appreciate everyone that tunes in. All the positive comments that I get from people as well. I really appreciate all of those guys. I do appreciate all your support. All right, guys. But stick with me. All right, guys. If you are subscribed already, please just like the videos. That really helps. All of you that are leaving comments as well, you are really helping with the engagement on the channel. That triggers the algorithm. And that gets YouTube thinking, okay, this guy is uh, getting people's engagement. Let's push his content more. So that definitely helps, guys. Please bear that in mind when you watch the videos. And um, yeah, I will see you in the next video.